Okay, welcome to the press conference. I apologize. I apologize about the post-match press conference. Unfortunately, that's how they do it here, apparently. Um, but the manager's here to take your questions. If if you have got post-match ones first, then I completely understand it's not a problem. Um, we'll start with Sam and Pete. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Ollie. Congratulations on, on making the final. Um, I wanted to ask you about the schedule, uh, unfortunately. I mean, you, you said in November around the Everton game that you'd been set up to fail and that was just coming back from Turkey and having, was it, 48 hours. So how are you feeling about this schedule next week? What do you think? It's... Um, never seen that schedule before. Not in the modern day football. I, I know, I've looked through and I know that Man United in 91-92 had a very, very similar run in. And you can see the, how the results deteriorate. So for me, um, we've been dealt a very bad hand by people who sit behind the desk in the suits who've never played football and understand what this is about. If I'm going to look after the players, I'm going to make some uh, decisions that will... Uh, yeah, of course, we we'll just have to make decisions. I've got to look after the players. That's the biggest thing. We cannot risk injury for players, and that's too much of an in injury risk. So I don't know what... what um, uh, yeah, I don't, you know, this year has been so difficult. This season has been so difficult. We're happy to put games on. It's so important. They've got to be safe uh, with security around. I understand all this. Got to be safe for the players. We want to try to put a good, uh, how do you say, performance, uh, a good product out there at the moment. It looks difficult, but knowing these boys, they'll take the challenge head on. Knowing me, I'll take the cha challenge head on, but I cannot risk them. So it has to be rotation and um, uh, it has to be a lot of rotation and a lot of um, decisions made on the day of the game. So we cannot prepare and prep for the game, which every team does get a week or two or 10 days or five days. This is... Uh, this is this is someone else dealing hands. Yes, hello, Ole. Good afternoon, Finn Ole. Just to follow up on that from from Simon, ha, just just well, huh? Oh, we spoke about five minutes about it. it should be enough. <laughs> yeah, but I was just wondering how how crucial could this type of of fixtures be for you? Now, obviously, you have a gap down to Leicester on the third place, and you. You, you, in many ways, secured the Champions League spot, but how crucial can can this kind of setup be for you? And and also, you have to be worried for the players with with the, with three games in in five days. I've got to I've got to think about my players, but I know there'll be teams fighting for the Champions League place that will not. Uh, they will not think. Oh, that's not Man United's best team in that perform in that team. That's not the best players. And I can promise you that no one will play, or it's impossible to play 90 minutes four times in at this intensity, at that level in the Premier League, four times in from Thursday to Thursday. And that means I cannot play everyone every minute, which means we've got to prioritize. Hi Oli, I mean, you've spoken there about how tough this season has been and how well the players have played to put to get themselves in this position. Um, I mean, do you think there is a risk that you may drop down the table, you may lose games that you wouldn't have done normally or, or maybe even risk your place in the, in the Champions League next year because of a schedule that's out of your control? I trust, I trust my players to get a result. First of all, we Sunday is a big game for us. Of course, Sunday is a massive game. And we're looking forward to it. After the boost of getting to a final will probably give us energy, hopefully give us energy. And then let's see what we do Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, just got to take it uh, day by day. Uh, hopefully uh, we can play those games. Mike McGrath. Hi, Ollie. Um, did, did, you, did you ask for it to be, 
for this one to be moved it, it, even even a few hours further further into Sunday. I mean, the, the two o'clock seems to be quite um, even even extra unhelpful to you. Sunday two o'clock is not the problem. That was always scheduled. Tuesday Thursday after Thursday Sunday. That's that's a big problem. Oh, yes. Hi, Ali. Sorry to continue the theme, but... Um, I understand <laughs> what the theme is going to be, so... Um, well, it's, I was just wondering, you know, because you have got so many games in such a short period of time, you talk about a big rotation. Could it, could it be the, the situation where you have to put one eleven out in one game and then two days later you have to put out a completely different eleven? Yeah. It's that bad, that, that difficult. As I said... Two games in three days is difficult, but it's, you, you can accept that. We do that at Christmas. Uh, two days in three, or two games in three days after a long season with all the games we've had, even more difficult. Three games in five days, very, very, very difficult, almost impossible. And four, day, four games in eight is, it is impossible. So, but, you know, I think you all know me. I hope, hope you do anyway. We'll take the challenge head on. And I'm not sitting here sulking, but I'm just saying someone there do not understand the physicality of Premier League. It's the best league in the world. It's, I don't know how, how, how you can defend playing these three games in so, so short space of time. And I've got to look after the players. That might be someone not happy with my team selection for one game or two games. And that might affect whoever gets into the fourth position or Champions League. That's not my problem. That's uh, everyone else's problem. Or the Thank you, Shanahan. Evening, Ollie. Congratulations on getting through to the final. Thank you. Manchester United have an impressive track record against Aston Villa. You're unbeaten in your last 21 Premier League away games. So how are you approaching this game against Villa as they're still without Jack Grealish? And, well, they're a different side without him, aren't they? I think they're a very good team. You saw them last week beat Everton. Uh, they've had a very good season. They had a little spell with some worse results. But we, we played them in the pre-season friendly before the season lost. We won the hard fought game 2-1 uh, at Old Trafford. We know it's going to be tough, uh, but we're looking forward to it. You know, the energy that we use tonight will probably be filled up twice uh, because of uh, uh, getting to a final. I think we'll, we we recovered, we're fueled. We're looking forward to this game. The players are looking forward to it. They um, they know it's a, it's a big game for us. Uh, Ole, just on the scheduling again, the weekend postponement, because of that, do you think that this is a form of punishment by the Premier League? And secondly, the Manchester United Supports Trust are waiting for Joel Glazer to uh, respond to them by tomorrow. Do you expect him to respond to them by that time? I haven't got a completely good uh, reasoning behind why it had to be like this. But... As I said, uh, it's not with my players uh, in their minds anyway. And uh, we, uh, the communication between the club and the fans uh, is ongoing and hopefully we, we can get an end to, uh, to all the, the speculation and uh, all definitely the, the violence. That uh, is not something we want to see. We, we, we want to focus on football. My job is focusing on football and we, we've got three games to win in uh, five days. Hi, Oli. Congratulations. I think we all thought the hard bit was getting to a final. The hard bit looks like the, the next week. You, I mean, you said yourself it's not your concern, other teams. But this is a hell of a favour to people like Leicester and Liverpool chasing top four, isn't it? Playing a week in Manchester United, potentially. Depends what team I put out in, what, what games. But in terms of the integrity of the competition, it, it's it's... It's not great, is it? Yeah, one of them might not be happy because I play a full team maybe in one and uh, and the next eleven in the other. Oli, what what would you say? Um, well, I don't know what schedule you, you would prefer, but what would you say to people who who say, well, 
Manchester United should suffer because it was their problem. They couldn't put the game on. It was their fans. What What would you say to them? You know, I I feel for my players. I feel for the team. I feel feel for them having had this fantastic season, got to a final. I'm sat here answering these these questions and not about uh, the running and uh, what they've worked their socks off. They've been absolutely brilliant. And uh, I'm just very, very happy for them that we've got to this place. We'll just have to do the best we can. We, we'll take it. It's, it's another challenge for us. And please, I, you can see I'm not happy with it. I'm not sulking. It's, it's one of them things that I know my players will take head on. And us, we as a group will be stronger for it when we come out of it. I just keep my fingers crossed that no one get, will get injured. And that's... That's going to be my uh, my biggest concern. That um, injuries, you know, uh, Harry Maguire. He's played every minute for us in the Premier League since he came. I don't think that's possible now, and that that's another record, or that's another stat that he could could have been very very uh, proud of. But I I can't really see that happening now. The final question to Peter Carson. Yes, I'm, I'm going to give you a fun one now, Oli. Uh, you, you said Edis, Edinson showed tonight why you want him to, to stay at Old Trafford and you previously said it's it's up to him to decide what happens about the future but but when do you expect him to, to give you an answer and do you guys have like a time limit on this decision making? We don't have a time limit but the, the more goals he scores the better we become as a team, the bigger the chances that he'll he'll want to f- have this feeling again. So let's just uh, talk after Sunday again. Hopefully, maybe maybe he's changed. Maybe he's decided. Maybe. Thank you, everyone.